DevOps is on the decline, not today and not tomorrow, but over the next few years, DevOps jobs are going to be automated away faster than other jobs in the cloud. And what will be replacing them? Well, AI agents and automated self-healing systems. In this video, I'm going to show you why DevOps is not future-proof and why other roles like cloud engineer, cloud architect and cloud AI engineer offer a more secure and high growth path. I'm Neil Davis, the founder of Digital Cloud Training. I've trained over a million students and I've worked in the industry for over 25 years. And in that time, I've seen roles rise and fall as technology shifts. And we're currently in another major turning point. Now let's look at what DevOps engineers actually do. Well, they build CICD pipelines. They manage the software delivery lifecycle. They automate infrastructure and deployments and they handle monitoring and alerting and system updates. The role is about automation, integration and reliability. Now the issue here is that while currently the human intelligence is required in order to perform a lot of the integrations, to troubleshoot issues and to look at how we might optimize the systems based on information that we receive as a DevOps engineer, AI is now able to replace some of that intelligence in the system. So now we can build more automated pipelines with an intelligent agent in the mix. This means that AI can now automate smarter and faster. We're seeing AI agents that detect and fix production issues automatically, code generating models to build CI/CD pipelines in seconds via scripts that they create, and AI ops platforms that handle log analysis, anomaly detection and alerting all automatically without human intervention. And infrastructure as code templates are often written by GPT-based tools. So basically, AI is not just supporting DevOps engineers, it's actually replacing a lot of what they do. It's not doom and gloom at this stage, but DevOps as a standalone discipline is certainly shrinking, and it's gonna be the role that sees a very large amount of change over the coming years. The people that suffer the most are going to be those who stick to the way that they're doing things today, the traditional pipelines and scripting. You need to make sure you build AI skills so that you know how to do it better, cheaper and faster. Now, rather than fighting the automation trend, it's smarter to move to different roles where AI is actually your assistant or perhaps roles in which you're directly building AI enabled applications. These roles often require critical thinking, architectural design, interpersonal communication skills, and some knowledge of AI ML as well. Let's have a look at some examples. Cloud engineers are really the builders of the cloud. They're responsible for building, managing, and maintaining the actual cloud infrastructure that's used by applications. Cloud engineers do things like setting up virtual networking using, for example, Amazon VPC on AWS. They might provision servers using EC2 or Docker containers on ECS, or maybe they're gonna set up storage systems or databases and really all of the above. Cloud engineers often deploy using infrastructure as code tools like CloudFormation or Terraform. They need to implement high availability and disaster recovery, set up backup plans and make sure that systems are available when they're needed. And the role may also include troubleshooting issues with production systems. The cloud engineers really set up everything that's needed for the applications to run smoothly. So they're responsible for making sure they understand how all the parts fit together and deploying them into production and making sure that they're actually there when they're needed. Another role that's in strong demand is cloud architecture. Cloud architects think big picture. They're making strategic decisions. They're designing the systems. They're looking at how can we solve business problems with a technology-based solution. So they're designing the end-to-end -end systems. They need to understand the trade-offs between different design choices. They need to understand cloud services very well so that they can make those decisions. When I worked as a solutions architect, I would work with people from different layers of the business, from the executive team through to the management and through to subject matter experts. So having strong communication skills is absolutely essential. You can think of solutions architects as a bridge between the business and the technology, making sure that the technology stack is delivering the value that the business is looking for. AI can certainly help architects, but it's unlikely to replace that type of leadership and design thinking. The next role I'll cover is cloud AI engineer. Now, as you can imagine, 
Cloud AI engineering is a role that is in really high demand. In fact, there's a whole load of new roles coming into existence around artificial intelligence today that didn't even exist even a year or two ago. We have chief AI officers. We have people focused on the ethics of AI and how it's responsibly deployed into the business. So a whole new set of jobs that are opening up. And if you transition your skill set into that area, you can be sure that there's going to be a lot of opportunity for you into the future. Now, the AI engineers are responsible for working with ML models and services like SageMaker and Bedrock on AWS. They're deploying ML ops pipelines. They're building and training machine learning models, and they're working out how to deploy AI services through applications that the customers need. Essentially, AI engineers are operationalizing AI. They're building AI-based systems and deploying applications with AI capabilities. Of course, these roles are not just resilient to AI, they are strengthened in a big way by it. So there certainly will be lots more opportunity over the coming years. So that's the future as I see it, and that's what I prepare my students for. So at Digital Cloud Training, we have our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp program, which is a program that includes live training with access to instructors, working with other students in groups to build real world applications and really making sure that you develop the hands-on skills that help you to get into this industry. So a combination of certifications as well as hands-on skills and career preparedness as well. So if you're looking to become a cloud engineer, a cloud architect or a cloud AI engineer, then we can definitely help you out. Check the link in the description of this video if you'd like to learn more and feel free to book a call with one of our student success advisors and they can talk to you about your needs and your goals and see if it's the right program for you. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more videos on cloud careers.